Toes together, heels slightly apart. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Hold on one second. Crown of the head reaching high. Start to cultivate that ujjayi breathing, that in through the nose, out through the nose breathing. Surya Namaskar A, inhale, hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, let's plant the hands. Take your feet back. Hold this plank just to warm up for a minute. We're not really going to hold it for a minute, but it would be kind of fun just to see if we could. Push yourself forward onto those toes. Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. So glad to practice with you guys today. I know I'm excited that Maria joined us. Finished yes. It is a rare pleasure to have you, Maria. One more breath. Inhaling, look between those hands. Exhale, walk, step, jump yourself forward. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Oh, gosh, my iPad fell. Inhaling, halfway lift. I mean, coming all the way up. Exhale, sama sitihi. All right, let's do that again. Inhaling, hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, guys. Take your vinyasa. Yes, you're still here. All is well with the world. Sorry about that. I forgot my little weight to hold up. Three to five breaths. One more. Inhaling with between those hands. Exhale, walk, step, or jump forward. Inhaling, halfway lift with soft knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hand to your side, mountain pose. Let's do that again. Uh-oh, I'm frozen. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Mula Banda, Uddiyana Banda. Gaze is towards your belly button. One more. Inhaling, look forward. Exhale it all out and come forward. Inhaling, half lift and fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Hands to your side, mountain pose. Do that again. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. If I was there, I would be giving you an assist. <laughs> <laughs> I miss those. <laughs> Me too. Inhaling, look between those hands. Suck the belly in as you walk yourself forward. Half lift for that next inhale and fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, Utkatasana. 
Let's settle in here just to check in, make sure the ribs and hips are knitted together. Sit down a little lower, but make sure you can see your toes and reach the hands high. One more inhale and fold. Inhaling half lift and vinyasa. Left heel plants, bring that right foot forward coming into your warrior one. Settle in here for just a couple of breaths. One more and vinyasa. Right heel plants, left foot forward, warrior one. Pull that right hip forward, right shoulder forward. Keep the ribs and hips knitted together. And vinyasa. Five long, slow, deep breaths here. Oh my gosh, I had the worst headache today. And I didn't think it was sinuses at all because my sinuses were running. They weren't clogged. And Dawn, you remember Dawn Maria, she said, that's probably sinuses, take Sudafed. And within 20 minutes of Sudafed, I didn't hurt anymore, it was a miracle. That's a weird new world. Inhaling, look between those hands. Exhale, come on forward. Halfway lift, inhale, and fold. Coming back to your chair pose. I say all that to say, hanging out here in chair, my mat's been out here about 20 minutes and it's already yellow. One more inhale. Namaste. We love our green country. Let's do that a little bit faster with breath. Inhaling Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Left heel plants, right foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. Right heel plants, left foot forward, warrior one. Vinyasa. Dasha Dirga Retrika Purika. That means actually 10 deep inhales and exhales. We're only going to be here for five. Inhale, look between those hands. On the exhale, come on forward. Inhaling, half lift and fold back to your chair pose. Tamasitihi. Last one, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Left heel plants, right foot forward, warrior one. Make it a deep one and vinyasa. Right heel plants, left foot forward, warrior one. Vinyasa. Couple more breaths here. Inhaling, look between those hands. Come on forward. Half lift, inhale, and fold. Back to chair pose. Mountain pose. Now we're gonna take our hands to our hips, jump our feet about hips width distance apart, inhaling, head up, exhale, forward fold. Grab hold of your big toes with your 
peace fingers. Head up for the inhale. Pull yourself down. Exhale. Let the head go. I like your music. Oh, is it too loud? Not at all. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, slide those hands under the feet. Coming into your pot of hot sauce. And now cool yourself down. Actually, I wonder if that works better, having somebody else have the music on than the host have the music on. Who knows? One more. Inhaling, releasing those hands, lifting your head. Exhale the hands to the waist. Soften the, the knees as we roll ourselves up. Mountain pose. Now we're going to take a medium sized step to the back of the mat, coming into your triangle pose. The wind is knocking my mat down. Right hand reaches, reaches, reaches. Maybe it grabs that right big toe. Left hand's reaching up to the sky, softening that right knee ever so slightly. Gaze towards the left hand. See if you can feel your belly drawing up from the pelvic floor. See if you can push your fingertips down with your big toe as you pull your big toe up. One more breath. Soften in that right knee. Pull yourself up. Other side. Shift the hips back, reaching the hands forward coming into this triangle pose on the left. This time, as you continue to pull and push on the fingers, think about that left knee. Try not to lock out the left knee. Think about energy out through that left shoulder so it's gonna draw the left side of the body up. You'll have two triangles, one between your legs, one between your arms and your legs, and then there's technically one here between your right side body. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, we're gonna revolve this out. So pull your right hip back, left hand reaches forward. It's gonna sit down on the inside, ultimately the outside of that right foot. Right hand reaches up to give the wall to your right a high five. See if you can suck the belly in a little bit more to pull that right hip back. Soften in that right knee, pull yourself up. Let's do that on the other side. Right hand reaches up. It's gonna set down on the inside or the outside of the left foot. Pulling that left hip back with the left hand reaching high. Chin slightly tucks if your neck gives you issues. Soften in the left knee as we pull ourselves up. Samasiti, mountain pose. Now we're coming into extended side angle. Big step to the back of the mat. Right knee bends a whole bunch. If you want, right elbow to the right thigh. Full expression of the pose. Right hand comes down to the mat on the outside of the right foot. Left hand reaches up and forward. You should feel a really great stretch from the outside of the left foot all the way through the left fingertips. Inhaling, coming up. Let's do that on the other side. Really rotate those shoulders away from you to open up. Inhaling, coming up. We're gonna go right into a revolved extended side angle. So if you want, you can bring your left knee down, hands to your heart center, left elbow to the outside of that right thigh, hanging out here. The full expression, the left hand's on the outside of the right foot, up on the toes of that left foot, or warrior one-ish type feet on the left. Right hand reaching in the opposite direction of the left foot. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale, let's do that on the other side. I don't know if you guys knew this. There's a reason why there's a, it's called pecking order. The big chickens beat up 
the little chickens, so we have to keep them separated. It's really kind of a pain. And the big chickens are chasing the little chickens, so I'm gonna have to tell Judson. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale, Samasiti He. Now, medium size step to the back of the mat, hands out wide to a T, inhaling. Exhale, forward fold. Plant those hands on the mat in between the fingertips. Head goes down to the mat in between the hands, holding it here. Two. One more. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, fold. I'm so sorry. Inhale, coming all the way up. I don't want you guys to think I'm chicken fighting. Hands to the waist. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, forward fold. See if you can squeeze your elbows together as you pull your elbows, your, um, excuse me, your shoulders away from you. It feels pretty good. Soften in the left knee, the both knees, pulling yourself up. Shake it out, hands out wide to a T. Exhale, hands behind you, pull them down and away from you. And then forward fold. Y'all are about to see chickens getting beat up. I apologize. Come here, ladies. Soften the knees, coming all the way up. Now take those arms out wide to a T, inhaling, and then forward fold. Your ankles should be talking to you. Grab hold of your big toes with your peace fingers, then pull yourself down. Five breaths here. Elbows out wide to a T, soften in the knees, especially if you lock them out. Head up for this inhale, soften the knees as you roll yourself up. Big step to the front of the mat, Samasi to he. Now take your hands back behind you, reverse play your fingertips down or up. Medium side step to the back of the mat with that right foot with a mostly straight right leg forward fold pyramid pose. One more. Soften the right knee as you come up. Other side. One more. Inhaling, rolling yourself up. Big step to the front, thumb C to he. All right, now we're coming to everybody's favorite part of practice, balancing series. Go ahead, ground down a whole bunch to that left foot. Pick up the right knee or the right big toe. Uchita hasa padan gustasana. Forward fold, maybe. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, let's take that right foot out to the side. Rotate your heel in, toe out. That's gonna help you to keep from dumping into that left hip, maybe keeping your hips square. Chest is proud. Inhaling that bird fold. Inhale, head up, and then let it go, holding it here for five, four, three, two, last one, we can do it, set it down, holy moly, shake it out, now you get to do that on the other side, <laughs> inhaling, we're going to take the left knee up, or the left big toe. 
And forward fold for five long, slow, deep breaths. The big chickens were just chasing them. Inhaling for that head to come up. And then remember, as you bring that left foot out to the side, rotating the heel in, toe out. That should help give your hip enough space to keep it a little bit squared off. Chest is proud. Inhale, go ahead and bring that foot forward. And then forward fold, maybe. Head comes up. And then release that foot for five breaths. I don't think this will ever be real because people will think we're being cruel to chickens. <laughs> One more. Nice. Set it down. Shake it out. Now we're coming into Ardha Bada Padma Padmasana. So take that right foot and you either do a figure four or if you've got a half lotus, go for your half lotus. Try to bring the right heel to your belly button before you set the right knee down. Right hand wraps around and behind and it maybe catches your right big toe or it catches your left elbow. If you've got figure four or the half bind, forward fold. This is an excellent stretch for the piriformis. That's like your butt cheek. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, soften the left knee if you fold. Coming up with control, set it down. Do that on the other side. Half lotus on the left or figure four on the left. If you've got the figure four, you can still forward fold like this. If you've got the half lotus, you can hold on to it with the right hand and grab your right elbow with the left hand, or you can grab the toes with the left hand and forward fold for three more breaths. Soften in that right knee. Let's roll yourself up with control, maybe. Let the left foot down. And now we're gonna take a vinyasa to Utkatasana. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, half left. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Let's go straight into chair pose. Forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Plant that left foot down. Bring the right foot forward coming into your warrior one. Sink into it. One more. Straighten that right leg. Turn towards the left. Turn towards the rear. Warrior one on the left. Opening up, warrior two. Straighten that left leg, turning towards the to the right, turn towards the right again. Warrior two on the right. Check in with the shoulders. Try to squeeze that space between your shoulder blades where your bra would connect. On your exhale, 
plant the hands in vinyasa. Look between those hands. Let's walk step or jump through to a seated position. Now take those legs out in front of you, coming into Dandasana pose. Hands on either side of your hips, suck the belly in. Couple of breaths here. Your feet are pressing into an imaginary wall, matrix style. Inhale, head up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab hold of your big toes with your peace fingers, or you can grab hold, put your thumb on the top of your toes, hands wrapping around the outside of the feet to flatten them out, and bring your forehead towards your shins. Inhaling, head comes up. Now we're gonna either, if you had your toes the last time, grab hold of the sides of your feet this time, or you bind around both feet. Funny story, I mentioned the matrix movie. You guys all know what that is, I hope. I did that, I mentioned it in the, when I was teaching the high school football boys and they didn't know what I was talking about. And I felt really old. Apparently that's now like cult classic and that was in when I was in high school. Oh, one more. Inhaling, go ahead and come all the way up. Cross one foot on top of the other. Maybe you pick your bottom up and take a vinyasa. One day we'll be able to float back. Inhale, look between those hands. Walk, step, jump yourself forward. We're gonna come into reverse tabletop. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Fingertips facing your hips. Rotating the shoulders forward, inhaling, let's come up. Squeeze the butt cheeks together a whole bunch, that, that will help. One more. Set it down. Take your vinyasa. Look between those hands, let's jump on through. Now we're gonna take the right foot, love the little hip, baby. We can come right back to a figure four and forward fold, or you can go back to that half lotus, right heel to your belly button, right shoulder internally rotates to try to grab that right big toe as we forward fold over the left leg. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, releasing this pose, we'll go straight to the other side. Technically, there's a vinyasa, but we're skipping it. Remember, if you need to romance your hip a little bit, go for it. Sometimes my hips get cranky. Going for the half lotus or the figure four and forward folding. Inhaling, head up. Exhale, take your vinyasa. When you are ready, you'll look between those hands, walk, step, or jump through to seated. Now we're coming to Tiriyang Mukha Ekapada Pashimottanasana. Saying that really fast. Take that right foot back like half hero's pose. Scooch and scooch. Scooching that hip really close to the heel if you can. And then you're gonna forward fold, trying to bind around that left foot. If that's not happening today, totally okay. I unmuted. Yay! I don't know if my dogs are very unpredictable. That's okay. <laughs> Sometimes they just I mean, start barking. You guys got to hear chicken scuffling, so I mean. I didn't hear it, so. <laughs> oh, you good. The, 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 
<laughs> the mic is good. All right, coming on up. Let's do that on the other side. I'm glad that you didn't hear it. It was hilarious. And then did you see Judson running around behind me trying to I chase him? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that too. Oh, my gosh. All right, left foot is back in like a half hero's pose. And if your knee is talking to you, then you just hang out right here. This left side's talking to me in general today. If you want to, you forward fold over that right leg. I like the unpredictability of the dogs. They're terrible. They're very loud when they go crazy. <laughs> one gets together, one's going. That's like my Yorkie. She always gets the boxer going. All right. Inhale, coming on up. Let's take our vinyasa. Look in between those hands. Walk, step, jump through. Coming into Janu Shishasana. So left leg stays straight. Bring that right heel all the way up as high as it can. Try to square your hips off to the front and then forward fold. Inhaling head up. Let's go straight to the other side. Left heel comes as high up as you possibly can. Try to keep your hips squared off and then forward fold. Inhale and coming on up. Take your vinyasa. Look between those hands, walk, step, jump through. Coming into Janu Shirshasana B. So the only difference between A and B is you sit on your heel in B. So your hips come up a little bit and your heel goes the only place it possibly can. And then you forward fold. Use this time to squeeze the heel with your pelvic floor basically. You can feel if the pelvic floor releases. We're supposed to be able to hold that squeeze for 30 seconds. Inhaling, coming up. Let's go straight into the other side. We call dog kisses natural derm abrasion, mm -hmm. which is the secret to my youthful appearance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale and coming on up. Let's take our vinyasa. I don't think I want Ruger kissing me anytime soon because he's been over at the side, jump through to seated eating what I think is chicken poop for the last five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yummy. All right, let's go for John Usher sauce and a C, maybe. So now the left leg is, is extended out. Right leg, you bring it in. If you notice, I kind of lean back to make room. Right toes are planted into the mat as we externally rotate the hip to bring the right heel up. And then you notice I kind of shimmy myself forward. Uh, another way you can get into this is hold yourself up, coming up to the toes of the right foot, right knee is down, and then you just lower your bottom as much as your knee will allow. It's your knee and your hip, honestly. But don't do, do anything if it hurts. This used to hurt, and now I really like it. Nice, Elizabeth. Hey, come on out of this. Right. Remember, you can just kind of hold yourself up like this, or your heel doesn't have to come up quite as high. Take 
your time. This gets up and into the obliques, this stretch does. And that QL region, the psoas. Uh, and let's vinyasa. All right, look between those hands. Let's jump through to seated and start doing the twists. So left leg extends out, right knee comes into your chest. First thing we're going to do, Marichi Asana A. We bring our right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Internally rotate that right shoulder, reach the right arm in front of and around the right knee. Left arm reaches around behind you. Maybe it touches the right hand, maybe it doesn't. If you can grab hold of something, eventually you grab hold of your hands behind you, like this, and you forward fold. We're gonna do that on the other side. So unwind in here. Bring that left knee into your chest, send the right leg out. Bring your left shoulder to the inside of that left knee so it's really getting into your hips. Internally rotate the left shoulder, Whew. wrapping that left arm around the left leg and right hand comes around behind you. Maybe you can grab a finger or a wrist and then you forward fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, let's vinyasa. Do you want to try to do B? Look between those hands, jumping through. B is the exact same twist. The only difference is you have a half lotus. So if you want to try it, that left leg comes in, left heel towards your belly button, and then you bring the right knee into your chest. Alternatively, if this is too much for the left knee, you can also bend the left foot and bring it underneath you like this. It's very similar. Helps get your hips kind of used to the idea of this posture. And then you do the exact same bind. You can either hang out here hugging that right knee or you wrap around behind. The forehead will hit the ground one day. Come on up, and then, oh, I almost took a vinyasa, other side. So again, you can do your right heel to kind of like the outside of your left butt cheek, if that half lotus isn't happening, or you can bring the right heel in for your half lotus, and internally rotate the left shoulder as we wrap the left arm around. Nice, ladies. Come on up, inhale, and then let's vinyasa. These are the poses that Judson, this is why Judson calls this my pretzel yoga. He just thinks that I'm trying to be a pretzel. <laughs> let's jump through to seated. We're gonna bring that right knee in. This time we're gonna lean back a little bit to get the stuff out of the way. Left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. We can hang out right here. This is a twist. If you want, once you've removed the flesh, push yourself forward, internally rotate that left shoulder, and then see if you can take the outside of the left palm to the outside of the left butt cheek. If it can get to that hip region, you should be able to maybe touch a finger as you bind around that right leg. Gaze over the right shoulder. All right, let's release this and go straight into the other side. Right leg out, left leg in. I forgot to say, we always have the toes that are pigeon-toed in or straight out, not to let them duck out, like go out like a duck. 
lean back a little bit, remove the flesh, right elbow to the outside of that left thigh. And then if you want to go further, push yourself forward, internally rotate that right shoulder, take the right hand, see if you can touch that right hip with the outside of that right hand. That was kind of how I knew I could maybe hopefully one day grab it. And then the left hand comes around behind to meet you. There's energy out this right foot that keeps you from falling backwards. Chest is proud. All right, releasing this. Let's take our vinyasa. <laughs> Come on through to seated. Now we're going to at least attempt the D. So right leg out, left leg. You can do the half lotus if you want, or you can bring the left foot underneath the right knee, the right knee. So either a half lotus or it's kind of like a, a modified half lotus. Now you can stay right here or you can take your left arm to the outside of that right leg and you can stay right here. This is a mad twist. If you want to go with the bind, I have to kind of like wiggle my belly and move boobs and bellies out of the way in order to get my right knee to the outside of my left shoulder. And then I can kind of wiggle my hand in between my legs. And if it can get to where my, my foot is almost touching the belly, that's how I know I can reach my right arm around. All right, let's come on out of this and go straight to the other side. Have you guys ever seen a pool liner get put in? It's actually pretty cool. This time we're going to do the right heel into the belly button and or to the bottom of that left butt cheek and then swoop that right knee around as you bend the left knee, bring the left foot close to the body. Now you can hang out right here or you can bring that right elbow to the outside of that left thigh and hang out right here. This is my, my nemesis side. You got this. Nice, Elizabeth. They're touching. So close. One more. And then come on out. Oh, that was the twist I apparently needed. Take your vinyasa. Jump through to seated. And now it's everybody's favorite boat pose. Okay, so boat number one, your feet stay on the mat, hands are out, saying Thor come. Boat number 1.5, two with your shins parallel to the mat, or you can work on three legs straight for another three breaths. Don't forget chest is proud. Cross the right foot over the left, bring the knees into your chest, push down, lift something, and let's go right on into the next one. Cross the left leg over the right leg, push down, see if you can keep those knees into your chest as you lift something. And then set it down. Let's do that again. Cross that left leg over the right leg. Squeeze those knees into your chest. Push down, lift something. And then, holy moly, say a prayer of thanks that we're done. Coming over to your hands and knees. Take your vinyasa. Now we're gonna look at those hands and jump forward into a Malasana squat. Oh, these hips. Okay, now if you know how to do Bhuja Padasana, you can go straight for it. If you wanna work on it, sometimes called shoulder, shoulder pressing pose. 
It's basically like setting up for crow, except instead of your feet being, your knees being on the back of the triceps, your legs are, your triceps are underneath your hammies. So it's just the same, but only different. So you're going to bring your bottom up, bring your hands, thumbs to the insides of the heels, fingertips to the outsides of the heels. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy your chest closer in between your legs. And then try to sit down with your inner thighs, thighs resting on your triceps. Perfect. Now what you try to do is shimmy your heels closer together and maybe see if you can bring one foot on top of the other. At first, it might just be your inching them closer together like there's eventually the heels will come off the mat. Then once your heels are coming off the mat, basically you just think face plant. <laughs> nice. Face plant. And that's shoulder strength. And you come down to the top of your head. Maybe your feet come up. Okay. We're, there's a bug on my arm. I'm coming out of this. All right. Eventually, you transition through this, going back to crow. Maybe. And then you jump back and take your vinyasa. Welcome to shoulder pressing pose. Let's see it. Yes. <laughs> All right, now we're going to jump back to seated. Ugh. I practice ahimsa on a great many things, but not bugs on me. Okay, now assume the girl doctor visit position. I don't know how else to describe this. I guess legs wide, mats with distance, knees open wide. Now try to shimmy your shoulders in between your thighs. This is the perfect setup for Kormasana turtle pose. So turtles have rounded backs. We're gonna be rounded in our backs. Think about rotating your shoulders forward in order to bring your arms maybe one at a time in between those legs. And now your palms are down on the mat behind you. Eventually you slide your legs forward, bring the forehead down to the mat, and you're in your turtle pose. Now you can stay right here, or if you want to work on binding your hands around your legs to your back, you can do that, and then you work your heels closer together. Eventually, your heels are stacked. I am not warm enough to do that today. And then we release this, and we come up through Titi Basana. So, lifting your legs up on top of your triceps, maybe or maybe not, okay, maybe not. <laughs> when your legs are on top of your triceps, I kind of lean back and then use the momentum of leaning forward to lift my bottom. And then I'm in Titi Basana. And then you bring one foot back, the other foot back into crow, or straight into the plank, or downward facing dog, or you say, a few choice adult words. Let's see, Elizabeth, use that moment and just think bottom up or not. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we're coming into Padmasana, Lotus Pose. This is the pose that I look longingly on at those people with like super long arms and legs. So technically, your arms go in these little, I don't have holes. Like, there's no holes in between my arms and legs. I mean, in between my calves and hammies. So technically, your hands go through, and then one day, we'll put our chins into the hands. And this is for people with really long arms and legs and really skinny arms and legs. I don't have either. So, or you just hold on to your knees. That's a good alternative, right? And then you make sure that there's nothing behind you, and you roll around in a circle six to eight times, a little bit like this. And once you get to the front, good job. My teacher used to say, this is how we get into harmony with the earth, Donna, but she was kind of artsy and a little bit all over the place. So once you're back at the front in your lotus pose, we practice lifting our lotus. 
So maybe, just maybe, and you want me to show you a cheating way to how to lift your lotus? So if you notice, can you see how my toes are kind of pointed? I'm going to bring my, the backs of my triceps to the tops of my feet and then wrap my feet around my triceps and then lift. And so now my feet are holding onto my arms and that's how I started learning how to lift my lotus. Eventually you point your toes and your feet aren't helping, but at first this really helps you to lift. I'm convinced that's how people lift their lotuses for like five minutes. Their feet are doing it. Okay, now we're gonna take our vinyasa. If you want, you can do that through hen peacock. Hen peacock is where you're in lotus pose and your elbows come to your belly. Keep in mind that yoga is created by men and we have anatomy. So technically your elbows are supposed to come together. That's just not gonna happen. So I bring my elbows to where the obliques are and then I roll over onto the knees and kiss them up to unbind. Let's see it, E. Yes, yes, yay! Thank you, Vinyasa. Good job, guys. All right, so from here, we're gonna jump through back to seated. And then take our legs in, Baddha Konasana. I must have flown through the standing series. Toes. Open up your feet like a book. Chest is proud first. And then we forward fold with a flattish back. Eventually your belly will be into your, the soles of your feet. Now we inhale here, and now we're gonna roll down with a rounded spine. I've gotta shimmy my feet out a little bit, and we want the top of our feet, the top of our feet, the top of our head into the soles of the feet. Inhaling, coming up. And let's take your vinyasa. Now we jump through to seated again. Take our, our legs out wide to a V, Upavishta. Grab your peace fingers onto your big toes and forward fold. Technically, there's a vinyasa here, but actually, no, I lied. So we're going to sit up, and then eventually we'll be strong enough to take from the seated position and come up holding our feet, but hashtag goals. Until then, you just come up, bring your feet up, and hold them. And then you do this for five breaths because it's fun. And then you take a vinyasa, but we're not going to vinyasa. We're just going to roll back and come into like a wide-legged, Plow pose. Remember chin up to protect that neck. Now holding on to the toes, channel our little kindergartner on the playground, roll up and catch yourself in that seated wide-legged bind. Yeah! All right, forward fold, boom and take your vinyasa. Good job, ladies. Now we're gonna look between those hands, jump through to seated, lay all the way down on the mat. It's starting to get cold. All right, keep that left leg extended out long, and then bring that right toe, right big toe to your right hand. Am I forgetting something? Okay. Huh? Um, normally when you're looking at me, Elizabeth, I've forgotten something. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here li recently. We're just going to hang out here on our back, bring the toes down, left hand on the left hip, 
working on straightening the right leg. Take that right leg out to the side. Eventually the toes are down onto the mat. The heel is up a little bit and you're bringing the toes up closer towards the face, but don't let the hip left hip up. Inhale, bringing that leg up. Maybe you sit up to kiss the knee. And then, nice. Come on back down, releasing that right leg down to the mat. Lift the left leg up. Grabbing hold of the left big toe with your peace fingers. Pull the left leg down. You're supposed to bring your forehead to your shin. But if you're not feeling that today, you don't have to. And the newer way that... Uh, Margarita's teaching down in Florida is to bring yourself up to your shin. It's a lot harder for your core work. I really like it, though, because I like core work. Let's open it up to the side. Bringing yourself back. Maybe you bring your forehead back to your shin. And then releasing that left foot down and take your vinyasa. There's technically what's called a chakrasana, which is like a backward flip. I'm going to try it because why not? I'm terrible at it. My left arm goes gimpy on me. And then we come through to seated and come back to the mat, back all the way back to our backs. And basically come, we're going to come into um, Urdhva Paschimottanasana, upward facing forward fold. So all the way down on your back, come to a plow pose, grab hold of your big toes with your peace fingers, and then roll yourself up. We can't hear you, Jennifer. Maria, could you hear me? All right. There's, I think there she is. I can hear you, but not Jennifer. Okay. Now I could. Oh. All right. We could go to shoulder stand. Okay. I thought you were going to say Shavasana. Oh. I was like, yes. <laughs> we'll just end in shoulder. We'll go to shoulder stand. Pull out to shoulder stem. And we'll hold eight breaths or ten in shoulder stem. Um, all right, can you hear me now? Yes. We have that one to Shabbat. Yay, you can hear me? Yes. Okay, that's good. Shoulder stem is good. I love how you guys skipped your, your back bends. Oh, I forgot about it. When the teacher is away, the back bends go away. I'm ready for Shavasana. <laughs> All right, go to Shavasana. <laughs> My vote. <laughs> Yogi's choice, of course. I have no idea what happened there. Sorry about that. What kind of a back bend is it normally? Pardon me? What kind of a back bend is it normally? Technically, it's a wheel pose. Hey, Rich. Technically, you do three wheel poses, but you can do bridge, whatever, whatever back bend you want to do. Okay. You've got a beautiful wheel now, Maria. 
Rocket. And then after you do your back bends, you make sure to do at least one forward bend. Could y'all hear me singing? That would be kind of embarrassing if you did. Okay, good. Now you do your shoulder stands. It's shoulder stand, plow pose, deaf man's pose. And then you go into upward facing lotus and then you bind your upward facing lotus. I really don't want kisses from the chicken poop eater. And that's okay, I mean, you did it. And then you could do, after you do your shoulder stand, you do your head stand. Don't forget after your shoulder stands to do some fish pose or a gentle type of heart opener. And then, and then after your shoulder stand, you do your headstand. And then after your headstand, you do your child's pose. And then after your child's pose, you take your Shavasana. 